This is Eric Mwade from Mwade.com for the weekend market analysis for February 9th and 10th, 2019. Take a look at the closing numbers for Friday's trade. In what we can say was almost an unchanged day, the market had spent some of the early trading down. That's for the day. Let's take a look at the weekly action. We can see here for the week, the NASDAQ was up 0.47%. Take a look at the Dow, which was pretty much, let's call it unchanged, slightly higher by 0.17%. At the end of the week, S&P 500 was pretty much unchanged. It moved 0.05, so net-net what looks like to be an unchanged week. That being the case, what it means is our analysis from the end of last week Pretty much should be the same as far as the weekly chart is concerned. We can see for the S&P 500, if we check the RSI highs on the weekly, we can see that this is where the market is coming. We have, of course, two options here. Option number one would be to clear this resistance and move higher. Option number two would be resistance around current levels and, of course, that would suggest a market that would pull back. Keep in mind that we are going into an options expiration week, so we can expect a lot of funny games to be going on in the market, as is always the case in an options expiration week. Now, so that's one view, RSI top side, potential resistance. If you go back about three and a half years, there's also the line we've been watching on the S&P 500. Going back to the RSI lows of late 2015. Should look something like that. And what this line gives us is it connects the lows here. This lows. And the lows right there. And since we broke this here in 2018... This has turned into weekly resistance. And that's why where the market is trading on a weekly chart, this is a big deal. Of course, failure to move above the red line means the next meaningful direction is lower. And if the market is going to respond with a move above the red line, then that means continuation of the recent market recovery. Of course, let's not underestimate what it means to be trading around RSI 50 on the weekly. As we can see here, a good example of this is we had resistance here around RSI 50 and a rejection for the highs there. RSI 50 rejection for the highs there. Now, this is in contrast to when the market was bullish, where we had this RSI 50 support there, uniform activity support here and uniform activity support here as a couple of examples. So whatever happens here is a big deal. It's going to determine and define the next couple of swing trade, the next couple of weeks in terms of a swing trade direction. So we need to be vigilant so the market can give us some guidance whether it's moving above or below this area around RSI 50 on the weekly. Coming into this week, traders were watching to see what the market would do around the 200-day moving average. So that's an area where everybody's watching to see what happens. Coming into this week, we were watching this line here. And reason for this line is because it gives us the previous lows. Once we broke through these lows here in October, the market has been coming back to this level showing uniform action which is the key rejection price rejection rejection here which is the key with uniform action for that daily reversal area there and recently we've come back to this area in other words this line continues to be a challenge for the s p 500 now having said all that what could it take for the market to blast above these levels? We all know the answer to that. If the S&P 500 can clear 
the recent daily closing high and climb above this level. Also, move above the 200-day moving average. That would be very constructive price action. It would also correspond with moving above the red line, which would also be very bullish action. So let's remember that scenario of a breakout continues to exist and we should act accordingly should we see a price breakout above the 200 day should we see the RSI move above the red line if we take a look at the two hourly for the S&P 500 of course on the two hourly this is the level we've been watching and the market's been responding to this level every time it comes to this level we see the market's been pulling back so that continues to be good guidance in the short term this has been where one would have taken swing trades to the downside. And so clearly this becomes the challenging area in the market. If bulls want to advance this beyond current levels, they would need to take out the red line. And we also see that it's a place where the market now especially given Friday's trade where the market came off the lows. One of the reasons is because this is where we see recovery of the lows recently. That entry there. So we take that RSI level and draw our uniformity support line. And you see how the market's been responding to this level movement above this level here turned into support and during Friday's session we bounced on this line another way of saying if the bears want to break this market they would have to bring this market first and foremost below the blue line so there's the upside challenge and the downside challenge for both the bears and the bulls we can say going into the new week sideways to down market until we either break below this line for a move low or until we can break out above this line to move the market beyond current price levels otherwise this concludes the free portion of this video the rest of the video is for paid mother.com subscribers and just as a reminder for paid subscribers, you can log in and watch my analysis of the crypto market from earlier on Friday. All right, so you can log in to get a look at my analysis as far as the cryptos are concerned. Otherwise, for paid subscribers, let's continue on for the rest of you. Have a great weekend. See you on the other side. Let's continue on.